So, what is the way to rectify? There are three ways due to A means at D1. So, like this. at B due to D2. So, you should see the phase difference. This is the case. And due to A, this is the waveform. Due to B, this is the waveform. Concludingly, what will be the output? When this is in the forward bias, second gate will be opened to become the reverse bias. So, like this, you will get. This is due to D1, this is D2, D1, D2, D1 continued. So like that, in the case of halfway rectifier, we have missed out the negative phase, ripple factor. But here the ripple factor is controlled, means 81.2 percentage is able to convert to DC. That means the residue will be approximately some 19.8 percent, that's it, or 18.8 percent. So, very much reduced when compared to the full wave, it is reduced half wave when it is compared to uh, three times reduced mostly. So, we can get the negative peaks also as a pul pulsated continuous DC waveform. Pulsated continuous DC waveform. So, like this, we can convert the AC current to DC currents by using the diodes and diodes do the work of rectification. One more use is there uh, with the PN junction diode, filters, band pass filter, high pass filter, low pass filter, like that many filters are there. These filters are useful in the power transmission in power stations. What is the actual use of these filters? So these filters are constructed with capacitors. Suppose if the voltage is increased, that means input voltage which is supplied to the capacitors is increased, these capacitors get charged. And to a peak voltage, one of these capacitor so voltage reached to the peak's voltage, further no change in the charging, means it won't absorb any charge. Whenever this voltage is connected through any load resistor, this load resistor actually stops the flow of the voltage, then in case of reverse bias, when it is connected through a load resistor, then this capacitor is going to discharge. For the rate of charging and for the time taken to discharge is called time constant. Time constant is inverse of the product of load resistance to the capacitor value. To get the more time constant capacitor value should be less or to get the less time constant capacitor value should be large means for the time taken to charge the capacitor or to discharge the capacitor should be same or should be less capacitor value should be more so because it is inversely proportional to the capacitance 
now we can construct the half wave rectifiers or full wave rectifiers with the help of this type of capacitors these are all called as filters now we will see what is the structure of these filters this is the actual structure of the filters with the help of rectifiers so ac current already connected to the rectifiers means the output will be dc that's why the dc component will pass through the capacitors and load resistors and across the load resistors and capacitors parallel combination we used to find out the output through that output we will get tau is equal to rc so if you vary this c and rl you can get the tau is equal to rc values also with respect to that we should get the average values suppose if these filters are connected to the ac input what will be the output the distortions we will take place it will be like this let us suppose this is the ac input what will be the output so one positive wave a, wave a peak wave will be appeared but all the ac waves are connected to converted to the dc but the distortion takes place is not a continuous it's a small small dots you will observe it's not a continuous form a discrete form you will observe so it is filtering the unwanted signals in each and every half cycle that's why we will get the this type of outputs next the gina diode It was a discovery of a scientist called C. Gina. A scientist Gina. So if this is the case, what is the symbol of the Gina? After this, we will go to the uses of this, how it will be used. So if this is the case, yes, okay, this is the P type and N type. So P N junction diode, but it is a Gina diode. What is the use of this Gina diode? Gina diode will act as voltage regulator. The construction of the Gina diode is the P type semiconductor n type semiconductor which are joined together to form the gina diode is heavily doped a heavily doped p type and n type semiconductors are joined together to form this one because of this heavily doping what we can understand the, the voltage passing through this is very high but the structure the thickness will be very low When the applied voltage is equal to the Gina voltage, a large breakdown will take place. So what is this breakdown? There is a significant change in the current for that particular voltage.
for that particular voltage so in this case suppose if you applied the voltage continuously increase the voltage also there will be no in there will be an insignificant change in the current means the significant change will occur at one particular voltage from that onwards if you increase the voltage also there will be no change in the current that's why this can be used as a voltage regulator we can understand this point so this vz is zener voltage now we will discuss what is the mechanism behind it and what is the graph for the forward and reverse bias of the Zener diode? If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.